So let me go ahead and uh, turn it over now to Mark McKim. Mark is the uh, owner at uh, uh, McKim Design and Fabrication. He's been a user of ours for a, a number of years, and he's out of Houston. Mark, let me go ahead and turn it over to you. Thanks, Jerry. Um, yeah, uh, again, like Jerry said, I'm Mark McKim, uh, owner of McKim Design and Fabrication, and uh, this is my contact information, so if you got any questions, uh, feel free to, to contact me if, if you need anything. Next slide, please. Uh, a little bit uh, about me. Um, I am, by education, I'm a mechanical engineer, and I've also got a, a machining degree. Um, Coming out of college, I spent uh, 16 years in the chemical and refining industry as a maintenance and reliability engineer. Um, and then in 2007, um, I decided to uh, uh, branch off and start my own business to do something that I really, uh, really enjoyed and, and what I, where my heart really was. So I um, did that in 2007, and we are located uh, in the Houston, uh, Texas area. Next slide, please. A little bit about what we can do. Um, we can do a, any type of project uh, from cradle to grave and anywhere in between if you want. We can do uh, 3D CAD CAM um, stuff. We have uh, CNC machining. We can do uh, tube, tube bending, uh, welding, um, all kinds of alloys of, of welding, sheet metal, uh, CNC plasma cutting, and wrapper prototyping. We do have a a 3D wrapper prototype machine. So primarily we're a, a, a you know, um, prototype uh, R&D type stuff and we do do some uh, smaller uh, production runs as well. Next slide please. This is uh, just a few um, pictures of our shop and you can see some of our CNC and manual machines in these pictures here. Uh, next slide please. The software when I started um, that I was using for, for CAD, I was using a Libre Design and, and Rhino 3D. Um, for CAM, I was using the standalone Visual Mill and Visual Turn products. Um, in 09, at the end of 09, I switched to SolidWorks um, primarily because most of the customers that I had dealt with were using SolidWorks files and it was just a little bit more mainstream. Um, industry standard um, to, to use and also uh, Visual Mill uh, had the Visual Mill for SolidWorks so I could integrate my, my CAD and CAM into one into one package and um, by doing that um, for me it saved um, you know anywhere from about 25 to 40 percent of uh, time savings as to having to go like um, you know uh, they talked about earlier with exporting from one software and uh, to to another and so forth. So by by keeping it all in one package, it's it's a uh, it's helped me out uh, quite a bit. Next slide, please. So the one particular project that um, uh, where this has really helped me out and that we're going to talk about, I'll share with you, is a a customer came to me that had a a vintage car convertible top hinge and it was a 1949 Ford convertible. You can see the hinge there the on the left side the, uh, the brownish uh, color hinge with the DR on it and you can see um, part way up in the back it's it's broken and um, it's a old the original metal was a, a pot metal and uh, they they tend to fail uh, there apparently that's uh, not an uncommon failure in, in these cars. Um, so the, anyways, the customer came to me, he really couldn't be weld repaired, um, and so we wanted, he wanted to make a, a new one in a, in a, a billet aluminum. So the first thing that, uh, we did was we had to, we had to get an accurate model of the hinge, and the hinge is, it's, uh, you know, it's not exactly straightforward. There's, there's a lot of, uh, bends and curves on it, and to get everything to line up, so, uh, we modeled it in SolidWorks, reverse engineered it in SolidWorks, and once we we felt we had a good model, we uh, we made a 3D um, rapid prototype of it in, in ABS plastic, and that's what you can see in the center. Um, we just decided to make this hinge in, in two parts. Um, 
the reason why that was done was it was going to be a little cheaper. We could get smaller uh, billet, and it was less machining, and then we could weld uh, weld the pieces together. So that was the uh, the approach. And then on the right side, you see the uh, one of the uh, one part of the finished uh, hinge. Next slide, please. <clears throat> In order to uh, to hold the the hinge, uh, we made a, a fixture plate. And uh, this is what the fixture plate looks like. It holds uh, both halves of, or both parts of the hinge and right and left sides. Um, you can see the bolts there were used to uh, come up through the bottom side to to thread into uh, holes that were part of the, the hinge. And uh, the circular bore there in the center is for uh, centering. So as I set my MCS in the uh, in the cam world, it. Uh, all I have to do is, is put this fixture plate in a vise, center on that uh, bore, touch off on the, on the heights, and we're good to go. Um, the part was actually water cut to shape. So, so the, um, uh, another machine shop I have a relationship with um, has, has large water jet machines. So the, the pieces were profiled uh, water jetted, and they fit into those uh, those uh, uh, dimples there, or, or you know, depressions into the fixture that they fit into real well. Next slide, please. So again, you can see um, both hinges there. The, the brown ones again are the original ones, and you can see they're both broken. They are just um, uh, the broken pieces are set where they need to be, kind of. So you can see the cracks in them, um, and then you can see the the uh, plastic part that we made to verify everything fit what was in the in the car and then in the uh, center you see the two aluminum hinges that were machined and then uh, welded together um, and that's how well, we did that I think with the next slide we have is a little uh, video that shows um, the parts being uh, machined So you can see there that this is the uh, the fixture plate, uh, two two and a half D, you know, machining on that. And then once that's done, we'll see. I believe the left side hinge there you go is uh, uh, being machined. You can see all the machining parameters there, and then the uh, the simulation of it. Hey Mark, one of the things too I notice it's Craig <clears throat> is uh, the ability to you know design the fixturing at the same time, you know, you get your part design there, you get your fixture design, you can run your cam all in one system, you know. Um, you know, can you talk just a little bit about that part of it too, where, you know, all, you know, the design system as well as a cam system? Yeah, that's that's one of the areas where it really, uh, you really get a benefit of, of timing is um, being able to install works, make a fixture, and then I could, uh, in an assembly, put that, hinge where it needs to be then you can um, you know make that into a, a separate part those those two pieces together and then visual mill can handle that as uh, as one item so that way I know uh, the heights are correct everything matches up um, you know in that fixture so yeah the, 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 the SolidWorks allows you to do you know some a uh, little bit of engineering and, and figuring out and it's the thing that I like about it, it's it's a uh, real world. In other words, it's uh, you can you can Visual Mill allows you to uh, give you the profile of the of the stock. So, like I said, this this the what we started with was water jet. So that's exactly what you see here in the video, and everything is pretty much how it looks on the machine. I mean, there's uh, um, the stock looks the same, the the fixtures look just like that, and then when the parts in the fixtures as well, and uh, that just makes it really nice, and being able to manipulate all that in one uh, one-stop shopping um, really has made made our life a lot easier here. That's great, Mark. That's a that's a really nice story, and I, I you know I, I like the fact that you know you're really showing here. This is a good example, like I said, of of CAD and CAM being integrated because CAD is not just part design, and CAM is not just NC programming. There's that gray area where you're, design, you're designing fixturing that's needed for, for, for CAM, and, and this is a great, showing a really good application. And I also like the story where you, you talked about reverse engineering, creating the, the plastic prototypes, 
uh, to make sure everything was okay and then, you know, doing your CAM programming. And Mark, you have uh, rapid prototyping capabilities also, right? That's uh, right. Yeah, we, we, we made that part uh, in-house here and we, we uh, again, we do have that capability. We did everything on this project uh, except for the water jetting. Um, and again, we have relationships with uh, uh, machine shops that uh, it's almost like we own them, but we don't have to maintain them, which, which I like. So uh, everything was done, was done in-house here. One other thing I wanted to mention, too, on that video, um, I didn't touch on it, but you probably saw it, was the ability to only have to make one half of this part. In other words, they are, they're, they're mirror images, the left and right hinges. So um, the, the CAM software, the visual mode portion, allows you to uh, mirror uh, machining uh, tool pass. And uh, so I didn't have to make a, a left and a right hinge. I just made one hinge and then I mirrored about the, you know, a plane and um, bang, there you got the uh, identical hinge and a mirror uh, application. So that was another uh, thing that helped out with time. There it is right there where he's showing the transform the tool path and it's mirrored across uh, uh, X, XZ plane there. Or excuse me, YZ, I guess it would be there. That's great. Hey, Mark, um, we, we have to get, uh, just because we're, we're running a little late, uh, we have to get to some questions that people have. So uh, are you all set? or? I am. That's, uh, that's the car that the hinge went in. You cannot see it, but uh, it's in there in that top, and it, uh, it's worked great. So thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mark, thanks a lot for, for sharing this with it. And also, by the way, Mark, you're, you're actually, you mentioned uh, you got some interest from some people have these cars that, that you're starting to produce a couple more of these, huh? Yeah, actually there is um, three, three different hinges or sets of hinges in that and I've done, I've, I've just got an order for the third set. So <laughs> as these <laughs> things break and these people find out that we're doing them, they're, uh, they're, they're popping up. So it's, there's more than I thought there was out there. You, you gotta, you gotta talk to the uh, aftermarket guys. <laughs> I guess. I'm into restoring old cars too. So, um, hey, Mark, thanks very much. I uh, really appreciate you sharing that. And that was a great design through manufacturing, reverse engineering, the whole gamut, rapid prototyping. I mean, in showing that you, you know, with tools like like SolidWorks and and Visual Mill for SolidWorks, and with the, I think with the pricing too of a lot of the the machines, uh, the CNC equipment, um, the rapid prototyping equipment, showing that you can actually you know, you can do this in one shop. And, and I'm seeing more and more, like I said, that that um, shops are becoming these one-stop shops where they're design and manufacturing and rapid prototyping. Uh, rapid prototyping in a way is almost becoming like putting out a drawing these days. It's like you send a drawing in, you send a rapid prototype. So that was really nice to see that too. But just in summary, again, today um, you saw Visual Mill for SolidWorks from Mechsoft. Um, and just to Reemphasize, you know, what you also saw in true seamless integrated CAD CAM designed for manufacturing, right? And, you know, the key points of this is that we're trying to eliminate data translations. We're trying to ensure that the, the part model is the, is, the, is the primary model and, and it's being tracked throughout the system. So if design changes happen, you don't have to worry about am I working on the right part? Is my CAM data up to date and stuff like that? Where this all promotes concurrent design because you can make changes, you can make manufacturing changes, and everything reflects down through downstream. You saw the changes that happened in the in the demonstration and how the NC data updated automatically. All right, um, it allows you to make design changes later in the cycle and to make them so they automatically propagate. Of course, it saves you money on maintenance and training uh, also because you you you're building you have everything either in one system or in in this case, two similar systems where they're running it, one's running inside the other system. And again, for more information on Visual Mill, um, you can go to, and specifically Visual Mill for SolidWorks, you can go to um, visualmillforsolidworks.com, all right? Uh, also, mechsoft.com, and, uh, or uh, as a contact, sales at mechsoft.com. So, with that, um, Jerry, did you have anything you want to add? In summary, just one thing over on the side, you see a download demo. On our website, you can download a free demonstration copy. Gives you full functionality. It gives you a tr uh, try before you buy. The only limitation is just the uh, posting capability. 
And uh, if you do have some specific samples you'd like to have us post out and send you the NC file, we can certainly do that as well. And just as a reminder to everybody, um, the, these webcasts are being recorded. You'll get an email um, uh, telling you where you can get the, uh, get the download for this recording, so if you want to play it back. Um, so I, I guess that's it. I guess we'll wrap this up. I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, coming on and, and watching this presentation. Um, I'd like to thank everybody from Mexsoft, uh, Uday, Jerry, Anita, for participating um, and you know being the great partners that they are. I mean, SolidWorks, you know, the the reason that one of the reasons that we can offer these a great product to you is because we have great partners and. Um, you know, having our partners be able to fully integrate with our products is so key to being able to reduce the, the amount of time that it takes you to develop products and actually get them out of manufacturing. And, and that's really why we're doing these, these webcasts, to make you aware of these great products that are out in the market today. Um, now, just to let you know, coming soon, there'll be another webinar, number six, coming up. You'll be getting uh, uh, information about that soon. Uh, there'll be another SolidWorks Gold Cam product partner. So again, thank you to everyone at Mexoft for, for showing Visual Mill for SolidWorks um, and everybody out there. And uh, we'll catch you next time around. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.